Hello friends, this video on system of particles and rotational motion part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to calculate the moment of inertia of a uniform hollow sphere about its diameter. So in this case we have drawn this sphere trying to show that the inside of the sphere is empty. So it is hollow from inside, it is just that the outer surface which is present here. So let us say that the mass of the sphere is capital M and the radius of the sphere is capital R. Okay. Now let us assume any point P on the surface of the sphere. So the coordinate of this point will be given as x i y i z i right so let us assume that the center of the sphere is considered as the origin so what will be the coordinate of the center it will be 0 0 0 right and the, the position vector of this point p is given as x i y i z i right now let us suppose if I draw a perpendicular to the axis of the sphere and say I join it to point Q. So looking at this diagram, what do we say? We can say that PQ square is equal to OP square minus OQ square as per Pythagoras theorem. Now what is OP square? OP square is nothing but XI square plus YI square plus ZI square this minus OQ square. What will be OQ square? It is nothing but XI square because the Y and Z components will be 0. So this XI square and XI square will get cancelled. So this will be equal to YI square plus ZI square. Right? So therefore we can say that moment of inertia about X axis. So this is my X axis. So moment of inertia about x axis, let us say I denote it by ix. So this ix will be equal to summation of mi yi square plus zi square, right? Because the distance from the x axis is given by pq square, right? Now similarly we can write iy will be equal to summation of mi zi square plus xi square. And in a very similar fashion, we can write Iz is equal to summation of Mi Xi square plus Yi square. So therefore, the total moment of inertia of a hollow sphere will be equal to Ix plus Iy plus Iz. <coughs> so this can be written as summation of 2Mi Xi square plus Yi square plus z i square. So this can be written as summation of 2 m i x i square plus y i square plus z i square is nothing but r i square. So this is equal to 2 m r square. So therefore the moment of inertia of the sphere will be equal to i x plus i y plus i z divided by 3. So this will be equal to 2m r square divided by 3. So therefore the moment of inertia of a hollow sphere is given by 2 by 3 m r square. Right? So here what did we do? What did we write? I will be equal to this divided by 3. Why so? That's because I x is the moment of inertia about x axis. Similarly, this IY is the moment of inertia about Y axis and similarly about Z axis. So the mean of the moment of inertia about all the three axes will give the net moment of inertia. So mean will be IX plus IY plus IZ divided by 3. So here I have calculated IX plus IY plus IZ which is equal to this. Therefore, I is equal to 2 by 3 M R square. So in... <coughs> So let us look at the last scenario that is the scenario of a uniform solid sphere about its diameter. So whenever we have a solid sphere or a solid cylinder we again follow the same approach of considering a small element. So let us suppose that the mass of the sphere is capital M and the radius of the sphere is capital R. Okay so let us consider 
a small element so let us consider a small element if this is the center of the sphere we consider a small element of thickness d at a distance x from the center this is at a distance x and this thickness is dx so consider a small element of thickness dx at a distance x from the center right now in this case also we will calculate the mass per unit volume of the sphere so what will be mass per unit volume m divided by 4 by 3 pi r cube so therefore we can write the mass of mass of the small element is equal to dm which will be equal to mass per unit volume multiplied by the volume of this small element. So what will be the volume of the small element? It will be area of the small element which is given as 4 pi r square that is 4 pi x square into the thickness and the thickness is dx because this small element is also a small portion of the sphere and the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi x square. So we wrote it as 4 pi x square into dx. So this 4 and 4 will get cancelled. So from this we get it as 3m divided by r cube into x square dx. Therefore, the moment of inertia associated with this small element will be dm into x square. Therefore, di will be equal to 3m divided by r cube into x to the power 4 dx. Therefore, the total moment of inertia of the solid sphere will be equal to integration of di. That is equal to integration of 3m by r cube into x to the power 4 dx. So, the integration will be from 0 to r. So, this is equal to 3m divided by r cube into x to the power 5 divided by 5 from 0 to r. So this is equal to 3m r square divided by 5. Now we have to calculate the moment of inertia about the diameter. Right? We want to calculate the moment of inertia about the diameter. So what would be the moment of inertia about the diameter? The total moment of inertia is equal to the mean of the moment of inertia about all the three diameters. Right? So the moment of inertia about one diameter will be equal to two-third of the total moment of inertia. So this will be equal to 2 by 3 into 3m r square divided by 5. So 3, 3 will get cancelled. So this will be equal to 2 by 5 m r square. So this is the moment of inertia of a solid sphere. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.